Harry, you've uh, you've signed a contract extension here at the Upton Steel County Ground, leading in for for another two years on expiration of your current contract. How, how did it feel signing on the dotted line? No, it's amazing. Um, very proud moment for me. Um, it was a very easy decision. Um, you had to sign a two-year extension. Um, been here since I was nine years old, and always dreamt of playing for the club. And obviously, it's a very proud, very proud moment every time I walk onto the pitch representing the Foxes. Very easy decision. And since signing uh, the new contract, you've obviously been in preparation for, for the upcoming 2021 season. Yep. How are your personal preparations coming along? No, very well. Um, me and Benny went to Barbados um, in November, December, which was nice, just to get a bit of warm weather training and prepare on grass wickets. And obviously great to be back with the lads. Um, I wasn't here last winter. Um, so it's just nice to just have a lot of contact time with the coaches, working on a few aspects of my game that I'm really keen to improve on um, heading into the season. So that's been, yeah, it's been really good. The 2020 season is obviously a, a, sh a largely shortened season due to the, the COVID-19 pandemic, but that saw you play every Red Bull fixture possible and, and a couple of last fixtures as well. How do you think that, that your season went? No, it was a decent season for me. Um, I was very frustrated in TR19 with my own performances. Um, so that was nice to, to score a few more runs and um, did a lot of time work with the coaches on my plans um, going into the 2020 season and it was nice for them to pay off. Um, yeah. And you actually uh, finished the Red Bull season as the fourth highest run score for, for Leicester with 188 I believe. So um, you're performing not only w with the gloves but with the bat as well. No, definitely. Um, yeah, obviously I need to keep really well, keeping my way into the side um, and being a keeper batter. Um, Gilchrist is kind of my idol, um, scoring runs at number six, number seven um, and trying to change games from that position. Um, last season I was a bit frustrated, I got too many starts, um, so it'd be nice for me to kind of kick on, um, yeah, kick on and get bigger scores. Um, and you're in quite a unique position really, There's, we have three Leicestershire born and bred, uh, homegrown academy graduate wicket keepers here at the club. Obviously, all under the tutelage of the, the Leicestershire legend, it is Paul Nixon. It's, it's quite, a, quite a position for you to be in. No, definitely. Obviously, with me, Batesy, and Lewis all get along really well. Um, we all push each other kind of every day um, to improve. And like you said, it's, it's great to have Nico, um, one of the best keepers this club's ever had, um, kind of guiding us and mentoring us um, every day. So, we're very lucky. And um, that competition place obviously very high going into the first game. Um, and as much as there is a competitive edge, I, I assume that when the, the, the lineup for the first fixture of the season comes in, let's say if, it, if it's you in a position that's, that's done in the gloves, you will have the backing of Lewis and Sam to go out there and perform well. No, definitely. We're all very, all very respectful and all very encouraging of each other. Um, them two are very good players. Um, so yeah, there were definitely no hard feelings. Um, it's, like I said, it, it motivates us, us all to get better each and every day. Um, that healthy competition is brilliant and I think that's what you need. Um, the 2019 blast season specifically seemed to be a bit of a, a, a gauntlet laid down by yourself. You came in and you actually finished the season batting at the top of the order alongside Mark Cosgrove and you posted at a, a good number of, of half centuries, a good number of performances throughout that season as well. Um, the 2020 season didn't go to plan, I expect for yourself only appearing three times in the blast. So what, what were your thoughts surrounding no, I was, that? I was obviously a bit frustrated not to start, um, but me and Nick I had some really good chats, um, some areas that uh, I need to work on to try and become a become a member of that side consistently. Um, and yeah, like I said, we're trying to try and work hard on our white ball skills as a, as a group. Um, and for me, yeah, it's about working really hard, trying to boost my strike rate. Um, still, got, obviously, got ambitions to to at the top of the order. But if that's not the case, then um, yeah, I need to contribute in the middle order. Um, and yeah, last season it was just about trying to get my take my chance when it come. Um, so yeah, that's it. Keep working hard, work on all your skills, and when you get your chance, make sure you make sure you take it. And in a couple of days' time, on Monday, uh, Boris addresses the nation once again with regards to to the lockdown plans. How how incredible would it be to to see fans back into the ground come come April eighth against oh, Hampshire? Yeah, it'd be amazing. Um, yeah, I'll speak to about it with a couple of the lads. A couple of days ago, like um, the Yorkshire game when Benny hit the six, last ball of the game, it had been rocky. Um, I remember the Warwickshire game on Sky when it was absolutely bouncing as well. And um, yeah, there's not too many better grounds when this place is rocking. Um, so yeah, it'll be amazing for amazing to play in front of our home crowd. We missed them in 2020. Um, yeah, it'll be amazing to, to welcome them again.